Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome to a brand new video. In today's video, I am going to be showing you what all of the Season 1 cosmetics look like in Sea of Thieves. Now, I have already reached Tier 100, so I'm just going to be showing you all of the different cosmetics, such as the uh, the new pistols, the new uh, swords, the clothing and whatnot. So, um, yeah, let's get straight into the video. Starting off with the castaway of the Shroud section, you have the Dark Warsmith pistol, the Shroud Breaker makeup, the Shroud Breaker flag, and the Shroud Breaker collector's sails with the Crab Dab emote. Starting off, I'm going to be showing you the Dark Warsmith pistol. Now, as you can see here, it uh, it has like a black with a brass kind of copper contrast with a glowing tip on it. Uh, it looks kind of cool. The iron sights aren't too bad. Uh, as you can see here, we're just in the dark showing you what it actually looks like when it's glowing. Uh, yeah, it, there's nothing too special about this pistol. It's a decent little pistol, but uh, there are certainly better pistols such as the Aristocrat. Next up, we are looking at the Shroud Breaker makeup. Now, there's not a whole lot I can say about this apart from it makes your face kind of purple and it has the Shroud Breaker on. Uh, that, that's literally all I can really say. Uh, as you can see here, you can just sort of see what it looks like on my pirate. Um, but yeah, that's, <laughs> that's about all I can really say. So uh, yeah, this is what the Shroud Breaker makeup looks like. Next up, we have the Shroud Breaker flag, which you can put atop of your ship in the crow's nest. Not a whole lot I can say about this, apart from it's purple, yellow, and blue, and it has the Shroud Breaker on. But uh, yeah, that's what that looks like. Now let's have a look at the Shroud Breaker collector sails. Now, in my opinion, these are actually really nice sails. Like these actually look really good. As you can see, they have like a gold kind of trimming and accent to them. The Shroud Breaker is very kind of, it stands out against the purple and blue contrast of the, uh, just the, the part of the sails. And uh, yeah, it just, it looks really, really good. So uh, I'd say these are definitely worth rocking if you uh, unlock them. Lastly, we have the Crab Dab Emote. Now, um, there's not a great deal I can say about this apart from it just, it, it makes me cringe, okay? Just, if you kill someone and then do this on their body, that's the, the ultimate BM. So um, have fun doing that, I guess. Next up in Sailor of the Shroud, you have the Seasoned Kraken Lantern and the Shroudbreaker tattoo set with the Frostbite eye patch and the Dark Warsmith blunderbuss. Firstly, we're gonna be looking at the seasoned Kraken Lantern. Now, as you can see here, it is basically just the normal Kraken Lantern, but green. Uh, it, it doesn't change the color of the lantern, I don't think. Maybe it has a little green hue to it, I'm not too sure, but other than that, it looks kinda normal. Next up is the Shroudbreaker tattoo set. Now, at first glance, it is pretty plain, but then uh, if you come on over to the right shoulder, you actually have the Shroud Breaker on your shoulder. And uh, this is pretty cool. It looks pretty nice. But uh, other than that, there's nothing on your back, really. There's not a whole lot on your other arm or on the side. Just these random symbols that I, I think it is just a, a bigger version of the Shroud Breaker. I'm not actually too sure. But um, that's about all it is for the uh, tattoo set. Next up, we're going to be looking at the Frostbite eye patch looking at the frostbite eye patch it is fairly basic uh it has a blue gem in the middle which is quite cool um but uh, this is what it looks like on my pirate it has a blue kind of band going around it with uh, fur along the top of it kind of looking like an eyebrow but um this is about it for the eye patch it's kind of cool uh, it might work if you have uh, white hair on your pirate or um use the other frostbite cosmetics which we will be getting into but uh this is it for the eye patch lastly we are looking at the dark warsmith blunderbuss now as you can see here it is very similar to the pistol of course it is a black base with kind of brass copper trims and a, a glowing tip once again um it's actually quite nice to aim down sight with like uh, it's pretty easy there's no kind of obstructions like the triumphant seed or blunderbuss and whatnot so uh, it's not a bad blunderbuss, it's actually a pretty decent blunderbuss. So uh, yeah, that's the uh, blunderbuss, and uh, we'll move on to the next section. Next up, in the Rogue of the Shroud, we have the Frostbite Braided Hair, and the Pirate Legend Bound Beard, only accessible to Pirate Legends, the Frostbite Top Knot Hair, and the Frostbite Belt with the Bear and Bird Wheel, if you have the premium version of the Plunder Pass. First of all, we are going to be looking at the Frostbite Braided Hair. Now this is actually pretty cool because you have these kind of frostbite gems, these blue kind of diamonds in your hair, and it's actually not terrible, surprisingly. <laughs> um, I don't mind it. 
I would wear this if my pirate was a different kind of model or if I wanted to go for a different look with my pirate. Uh, but yeah, I know that some of you are definitely going to love this cosmetic and it's definitely worth uh, potentially using. Next up, we are going to be looking at the Pirate Legend Bound Beard. Now, this isn't actually too bad, as, as you can see here, just in the front of the beard, there are some gems and it kind of just gives your pirate a little bit more uh, jewellery and sort of, uh, sort of gives your pirate more character. It's got this kind of gold band tying off the end of the beard with a gem in the middle of it. So uh, pairing this with the hair isn't such a bad combination. The frostbite top knot hair isn't too bad as you have this main kind of center gem at the top tying it off. However, personally, I think you look a little bit, a little bit too much like a bird, like a peacock or something. So uh, it's not for me. But uh, if you if you want to give your pirate a cool gem in your hair, then uh, go for it, I guess. But uh, this is what it looks like on my pirate. Uh, take this as you will if you like it you like it so uh yeah this is the frostbite top knot hair now we are going to be looking at the frostbite belt now i actually don't mind this as it has a cool kind of gem on the on the front of it it kind of in a way reminds me of the ghost belt i don't know why i think it's because uh it has a bit of a glowing kind of gem on it i don't know but um, yeah, it's just not actually ba a bad belt. It, you could make it work with the mercenary pants or something like that, or just anything white or black. Uh, yeah, so th that's the belt for you. And as you can see here, we are just running over to put the bear and bird wheel on. And uh, this is what the bear and bird wheel looks like. It's, it's kind of cool. It's this brown, gold and blue. Uh, this is what it looks like when you're steering the ship with the wheel on. Nothing amazing, nothing too bad, but... Uh, I mean, it saves you buying it from the store, I guess. Uh, it's a free kind of cosmetic. Well, it's not a free cosmetic if you get the premium version. But um, yeah, it, this is what it looks like. Next up in section four, we have the Seafarer of the Shroud, where you get the Frostbite Beard, the Frostbite Boots, and the Dark Warsmith Cutlass. Looking at the Frostbite Beard, it actually looks really nice. Uh, it goes really well with the frostbite hair, unsurprisingly, as it also has these blue kind of gems in the uh, beard. And uh, it's not actually a terrible beard. If you want to rock it, then I'm sure your pirate can probably pull it off if you have the right kind of fashion with it. But um, this is the frostbite beard. Next up, looking at the frostbite boots. These actually go really well with my current outfit. Uh, the uh, black dog pants and the uh, frostbite belt with the frostbite boots actually look really good. If you wear it with the mercenary pants, I'm also sure you could probably pull that off. Uh, they actually go really well together, unsurprisingly. Um, these are the frostbite boots. They're kind of furry, uh, brown and black, kind of with wood and strings around it, uh, from what I can tell. But um, yeah, these are the frostbite boots. Lastly, looking at the Dark Warsmith Cutlass. This is actually a really nice cutlass. I actually really like the design of this. Um, just on the handle there is a skull, you can't really see it, but as you look here in the sunlight you actually get a really nice kind of colour bouncing off of it. And uh, when I go and do my emote pose just here, you can actually see the skull I am talking about. It kind of reminds me of Flameheart, it might be Flameheart for all we know, we, we, it, it might be. Um, but yeah, it actually looks really nice, this is a really nice cutlass. Looking at section 5, or the Shipmates of the Shroud, we get the Seasoned Aristocrat Hat, with the Pirate Legend Lengthy Hair, the Frostbite Peg Leg, and the Ruby Splash Tail Fishing Rod. Looking at the Seasoned Aristocrat Hat, personally I'm not a fan of hats, but uh, as you can see here it is actually quite a decent colour scheme, it's like dark blue with light blue and it has this uh, gem at the front with a feather coming off of it. Uh, you can definitely, definitely make this work with the Frostbite outfit as well. Um, really just depends on the style you're going for. But um, as you can see, it is quite a nice hat, actually. They did a pretty good job on it. Next up, we are looking at the Pirate Legend lengthy hair. Now, I actually really like this hairstyle. As you can see at the back, there is the Pirate Legend logo. And it is actually just a really nice kind of hair. I, I don't know what to say. I don't, I don't know why. Uh, just the slicked backness with the braids and the Pirate Legend logo at the back is just very nice and complimenting. Now we are going to be looking at the Frostbite peg leg. Now this isn't a bad peg leg, I'm personally not a fan of peg legs, but as far as peg legs go, uh, it has a gem in it. It, it, it matches the whole Frostbite kind of aesthetic. They did a good job on it. 
and uh, if you like peg legs then you can definitely rock this with the boot and the belt and whatever kind of pants you want. Uh, yeah, there's there's a definitely a way to make this work. Lastly, we are going to be looking at the Ruby Splash Tail Fishing Rod. Now, there's not a whole lot of ways I can showcase this. However, uh, just by looking at it in my hand, it is actually a very nice fishing rod. Like, it actually looks very good uh, compared to many others, apart from the, for the Forsaken Fishing Rod, where you have a glowing kind of fishing line. Um, but yeah, no, it's pretty nice. And uh, considering that you don't have to buy it from the store, you get it for uh, like for free for buying the premium pass. Um, it's not terrible. It's, it's quite a bargain, actually. If you like fishing, that is. Next up for section six, or Marauder of the Shroud, you will receive the Seasoned Bone Crusher Wheel, the Frostbite Gloves, and the Mysteriously Casual Emote. Coming on over to the ship, this is what the Seasoned Bone Crusher Wheel looks like. Personally, I think this looks really, really good. The black, white and gold colour scheme is really complementing and uh, for, for consi considering it's a free cosmetic that you get just from playing the game and completing the plunder pass a little bit, it's actually a really, really nice skin. Next up, looking at the Frostbite Gloves. These are um, personally, in my opinion, not very nice. Um, they don't really have a whole lot of pizzazz to them. They don't have a whole just kind of nice look to them. Yeah, they're furry and orange and brown. They, they go with the Frostbite set. But personally, I would stick to something like Bilge Rack Gloves or um, just something like a hand wrap. But yeah, it's up to you. This is what the Frostbite Gloves look like. Lastly, for Section 6, you have the Mysteriously Casual Emote. Uh, it's kind of uh, just a, a cool emote, I guess. Um, I'm, there's not a whole lot I can say about it, so I'm just going to sort of let myself sit here and you can kind of just stare at it, I, I guess. Next up for Section 7 or Master of the Shroud, you will receive the Pirate Legend Updo Hair, obviously if you're a Pirate Legend, the Frostbite Dress, the Frostbite Hook, and the Dark Warsmith Eye of Reach. Looking at the Pirate Legend updo hair, you will see that this definitely does look Pirate Legend-esque as you have the uh, gems in the hair surrounded by gold and the gold kind of chain which the Pirate Legends kind of like to use around their cosmetics. It's quite a nice hairstyle, but um, not something I would personally wear, but um, yeah, this is the Pirate Legend updo hair. Next up, we have the Frostbite dress. Now, I hate dresses. So I'm going to stay quiet on this one. You can just have a, a, a look at it. Um, yeah, this is the frostbite dress. Yeah, moving on. Now we are going to be having a look at the frostbite hook. Now there's not a great way I can show this apart from doing this emote. Um, you can't really see it when you're holding anything, I, I guess. Uh, hooks, in my opinion, aren't that great, but um, it matches the whole kind of aesthetic. Um, this is what it looks like when you are steering the wheel of a ship, I guess, for reference. Um, it, it's a hook, which is blue. Um, that's about all I have to say. Now lastly, looking at the Dark Warsmith Eye of Reach. This is a really nice sniper skin. This is a really nice skin. Um, like the others, it follows the same kind of black with copper brass um, accents with the glowing tip. Um, it's very, very streamlined, I guess you could say, or uh, I, I guess not ob ob in intrusive, obstructive, because the scope is very skinny. You don't actually, uh, it doesn't block your sight, much like the Dark Adventurer's Eye of Reach does, or the, um, the Ghost Eye of Reach. You can sort of have more vision while you have the Dark Warsmith Eye of Reach out. So this is not a bad Eye of Reach skin to run. If, uh, if you don't have anything else, then running this is perfectly viable. Now in Section 8 or Captain of the Shroud, you will receive the Seasoned Parrot Cutlass, the Frostbite Trousers, and the Collector's Night Wolf Figurehead. Now let's get straight into showing you what the Cutlass looks like. Now, as you can see here, the Cutlass is actually pretty nice. Uh, considering it's free, and as far as free cosmetics go, it has a glowing tip, it's got a chip out of it which glows, it, it, the, the bottom of it glows. As you can see here, doing this uh, emote pose, it's actually a very nice Cutlass because of how skinny it is as well. It doesn't really block your vision too much. 
Um, so yeah, this cutlass is actually a really nice cutlass to use. Next up, we have the Frostbite Pants. Now these are actually pretty decent. I would actually wear these uh, without the Frostbite belt or boots. Uh, they can actually be worn with quite a few different outfits. Uh, they're very minimalist with a blue patch representing the frostbite aesthetics, but other than that, they're actually really nice. Lastly, taking a look at the Saber Wolf uh, figurehead, you can see that the eyes glow, um, and it's actually quite a nice kind of figurehead. The only thing I'm not a huge fan of is the green and black accents. Maybe if it was just pure black or pure white, it would be really nice. But uh, as far as figureheads go, considering you get it with the premium pass and you don't have to pay for it on, your, on its own, I guess, yeah, it's fine. In section 9, or Commander of the Shroud as it is called, you will unlock the Eastern Wind's Jade Eye of Reach with the Frostbite Jacket and the Ruby Splashtail Monarch Costume. Now the Eastern Wind's Jade Eye of Reach is absolutely gorgeous. As you can see here, it's kind of bluish black with a green bottom to it, well, jade bottom to it with gold accents and a green gem on top. Oh my god, is this sniper beautiful. I am 100% going to be using this instead of the uh, legendary Eye of Reach, which you get for legendary Sea Dog, purely because I'm just a bit bored of it. And this is actually just really nice and kind of uh, show, it shows off, I guess. It's it, it just, I don't know, it's just really nice. Something about it is really appealing to me. So um, yeah, this is the Eastern Wind Jade Eye of Reach. Next up, we have the Frostbite Jacket. Um, I'm not a huge fan of jackets, much like the dress or the style of jackets. So uh, I'm going to keep quiet on this matter. So it just, it just, yeah, make your own conclusions. I'm not going to give you a biased opinion. <laughs> Lastly, for Commander of the Shroud, you unlock the Ruby Splashtail Monarch costume. Now, um, I, I don't, I, I, I don't really have anything to say about this. Y your skin is pink, and you, you have a splashtail on your back and a crown on your head. Um, just, yeah, don't, yeah. Lastly, for Section 10 or Legend of the Shroud, you unlock the Frostbite Hat with the Shroudbreaker Scar, the Pirate Legend Curse, and the Collector's Silver Skull Sails. First of all, I'm going to show you what the Frostbite Hat looks like. As far as hats go, yeah, this one's okay. It has gems on it. It's kind of brown with fur on. Uh, it, it fits the aesthetic. It's nothing too amazing. I don't really like hats, but... This is what the hat looks like, I guess. Yep, that's all I have to say. Next up, we have the Shroudbreaker Scar. Now, this scar is actually not too bad because, as you can see here, you have the huge Shroudbreaker on your back. And uh, yeah, it just looks really nice and clean. And on your chest, you also have the Shroudbreaker face. So if you don't have a scar, and you get this, yeah, run it. It looks cool. Uh, it's, it's nicer than the uh, Forsaken Ashes one, in my opinion. So uh, yeah, why not? Next up, we are looking at the Collector's Silver Skull Sails. Now, um, these are okay. I don't have a whole lot to say about them. They're blue and silver with a skull and crossbones on the front, um, or a skull and swords on the front, I should say, rather. Um, they're okay. There's, there's nothing too special about them. They don't stand out a whole lot. They're, they're kind of just like navy blue and silver. Uh, this is what they look like when you're on the ship. Just blue and then a, a skull with swords on. Nothing too amazing. It's not as good as the picture shows them off to be. So uh, it's nothing special. Lastly, what you have all been waiting for, we have the Pirate Legend Curse. And this is what it looks like. Yup. Glowing eyes and an Athena skull on your chest. Pog boys, pog, poggers. Uh, let's get a poggers in the comments. Um, yeah, this is very underwhelming. And uh, yeah, uh, I'll, I'll show you what it looks like on my character's usual outfit. Um, it looks a lot better, but um, it, it's in, in the daytime, you can't really see it a whole lot. Uh, it's a cool addition. It's a step in the right direction. Don't get me wrong. Like... It's not a bad curse, but considering how small and how unnoticeable it is in the daytime, or if you even have an eye patch on, you can barely notice it. 
it's not the the, the greatest curse in the game like I'm, I'm gonna run it purely because it's cool and you know not many people have it at the moment but um that's the kind of that's that's the pirate legend curse for you uh yeah make make your own kind of judgments on it it's cool in the dark in the night time it looks really nice and you have this cool kind of skull on your chest and your eyes glow uh, it, it, as my character kind of looks badass as i like to think um it definitely makes him look cool that's the pirate legend curse i hope you guys have enjoyed looking at this curse and i hope you guys have enjoyed the video if you have please let me know in the comments and please consider subscribing we are nearing in on 10,000 subscribers and oh my god is that incredible uh yeah we we I, I don't have anything else to say it's my birthday in two weeks if i can hit 10k before then oh my god would that be the best birthday present ever but um thank you guys for watching if you've enjoyed it let me know please consider joining our discord as well we are near we're nearing a thousand members and uh yeah that's it's about it for this video thank you guys so much for watching we'll see you in the next video goodbye